Good day, fellow mathematicians! Welcome back to our video. Today, we're going to discuss another topic in pre-calculus, and that topic is to the second conic section. This the second conic section, which is the parabola. Previously, in the last few videos, we have discussed the notion of what a line is and what is the circle the first conic section but today 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 we're going to discuss another conic section which is the parabola now let's define what a parabola is shall we <clears throat> a parabola is the set of all points in a plane that are equidistant ano naman narinig na naman natin yung salitang equidistant kapag sinabi equidistant what does that mean it it means that it is equal distance from a fixed line D called the directrix. There are terminologies from the start. And a fixed point F not on the fixed line, hindi siya nasa fixed line, called the focus. The focus. Ngayon, in pictures, in pictures, what does that mean? Let's say, we have this line. Meron daw tayong fixed line. Ang ano niya is D. This is the directrix. Mamaya na nalagyan ng, ano, ng mga pangalan, label. Kasi mahalaga maglagay ng label, guys. Eh, lagyan na natin. Sige. This is called the directrix. Directrix. This is the fixed. This is the fixed line, guys. This is the fixed line. Okay. Now, let's head to the... To the parabola. Paano ba ang drawing ng parabola? I don't know if I will going to justify what I'm gonna do. Pero I'll try. Let's say, ito. So, ganito. Then drawing ng parabola. And, ganyan. And, let's say we have ganito. So, medyo na justify naman natin. No, I'm not satisfied. <laughs> so, ano ba? Ang hirap talaga kapag ano eh, no? Hindi flat yung sinusulatan mo eh. So, hindi pa rin eh. Ganito. Mm, uh -huh. Yan, ganito. Medyo satisfied na ako dyan. Ngayon, this is the parabola. Ngayon, meron tayong fixed point right over here. This is the fixed point F. F ang pangalan, di ba? F called the focus. This is the focus. This is the focus or the fixed point. The fixed point. Ngayon, ano ang sabi sa definition? A parabola is a set of all points. Itong set of all points na nasa pula that are equidistant from a fixed point to a fixed line. Sige, halimbawa, magkukuha tayo ng isang point. Let's say we have the purple one. Ito. Let's say ito yung point na yan. Ito yung point na yan ay nasa along the parabola. Along the parabola. Ibig sabihin, mag ano tayo ng color, let's say this dark orange, dark yellow, or mustard yellow, yung distance daw na ito, at distance nito, di ba ang distance ng point in a, in a line, alala nyo, the distance between a point in a line is a perpendicular distance. Di ba? So, ibig sabihin, these are congruent. Paano natin dinidenote ng congruence? Di ba? Yung by tick marks. Paano natin sa sulat yun? Let's say ito. Tick marks. Ayan. Ganyan. Ibig sabihin yung distance na itong point na to in the parabola from the directrix is equal to the distance from this point to the focus. Okay. Kuha pa tayo ng isa to get the idea. Alam mo may point na yan. Ngayon. Kung ninulit natin ay ibang color. Let's say this shade of blue. Itong distance daw na ito, this point to the focus, dun sa fixed point, I equal sa distance from the directrix. So, di ba, di ba palaging perpendicular distance yan? Di ba palaging perpendicular distance? Kasi the distance between a line and a point is a perpendicular distance. The shortest distance, in fact. And, sabi din daw, these two are congruent. Pareho sila ng distance. Di ba ganyan palagi yan? And lastly, to get the idea, alam po na kukuha nyo na, paano naman kung nandito yung ano? Nandito yung point. E di ganun din. Let's change to custard yellow. Ay, wag custard yellow. Let's change to color, I don't know. 
Let's change to the dark brown. Itong distance na ito ay equal sa distance nito. Palaging ano? Palaging perpendicular, guys. Okay? Ayan. And that's basically the idea. A parabola, tatlo naman. Ayan. The parabola is the set of all points, itong pula na to, that are equidistant or has an equal distance from a fixed point called the focus to the fixed line called the directrix. Ang tanong, sir, lagi po bang horizon, ay vertical, vertical yun, di ba? Vertical and directrix? No. There will be cases na horizontal naman siya, pero yung parabola mo pa ganun. And we will be talking about its orientations in a, in a later video. But for now, gusto kong i-focus nyo lang yung sarili nyo sa orientation na kapag may fixed line na ganito, ang parabola mo open dito. Actually, pwede nga dito din eh. Diba? So, we will be talking about its orientation in a future video. But for now, the important thing is that nakukuha nyo na yung ano ba ang parabola. Okay, ngayon, nakuha nyo na ano yung parabola. Now, let's define the parts of a parabola. Diba? Yun na importante palagi dito eh. We are determining the parts of a parabola. Ngayon, di ba alam naman natin ang kahalagahan ng label, guys? Ngayon, ililabel na natin siya. Ngayon, let's say, let's draw again the fixed line, which is D, which is the directrix. And let's draw again the parabola. Ngayon, ito yung pinakamahirap na part eh. Kaya gusto ko talaga nag jogebra eh. Ito. Tapos, ito. Not bad. Not bad, ah. From a standpoint na, ano. So, ito. Ngayon. Tapos, nilagyan ko ng point kasi may dahilan kung bakit ko nilagyan ng point yan. So, ngayon, ito. Ito yung fixed point na F. Ito yung focus. Yung D, yung directrix. Ngayon, lalagyan natin ng labeling yung mga bagay-bagay. Ngayon, alam natin yung point F. The point F is called the focus. Alam na natin yan from the start. The line D is called the directrix. Alam na natin yan kasi the definition tells us that we should know it. Ngayon, a line A through F. Sino si F? Ito. That N is perpendicular to the directrix is called the axis of symmetry. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Dumadaan siya sa F, tapos perpendicular sa directrix. Diba? Alam mo, ito yung directrix mo. Ito yung F. Ibig sabihin, a line na dumadaan sa F na perpendicular sa directrix. Ibig sabihin, we will be drawing it in a, ano, in the figure. Ngayon, let's change to color, I don't know, maroon. Ba, ito, tingnan natin kung masusulat natin to in a justifiable way. Ganyan. And ito. And ayan. Diba? Medyo, ano, di tayo nanginginig. So, this is line A. Line A. Ang sabi, true F. Ito yung F, the focus. And is perpendicular to the directrix. Nasundan natin yung conditions. And this is called the axis. The axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry. Na alam po yung terminology, familiar. Yan yung nagahati sa parabola into two separate parts na mirrors of each other. Naalala niyo dati nung ano, grade 8 kayo. Ganun na ganun ang purpose niyan. The axis of symmetry. Ayun. Now, let's go back. The point of intersection of the axis of symmetry and the parabola, yung red, di ba may point of intersection sila? Sino yun? Yung itong black. Itong black na ito, itong line na to, na inano ko kanina. They have a point of intersection called the vertex. And we denote it by the letter V. Vertex. This is called the vertex. This is called the vertex of the parabola. Yun yung intersection ng parabola sa kanang axis of symmetry. The vertex is also called the, mid, the, the midway of the focus and the directrix. Let's say we have a point R dito. Ibig sabihin, um, di ba may point R na nasa directrix na, ano, na let, itong blue, itong line na blue. Ibig sabihin, pwede mo masabi, V is the midpoint of segment RF. Sino si RF? Ito si RF. V is the, ang kulit na nakasulat na, tapos sinasulat ko pa, the midpoint of segment RF. Para lang malinaw. RF. Ganon. Ngayon, isa pa. 
the chord of a parabola is the line segment. The chord of a parabola is a line segment. Line segment siya. Joining two points on the parabola. Halimbawa, let's say this has may two points ka. Ang chord, ito yan. Diba? May isa ka pang point. May isa ka pang point. Ito, chord yan. Ito, may isa ka pang point. May isa ka pang point. I-extend mo, chord yan. Yan ang chord. Okay? Yan ang chord. Pero ngayon, didelete natin yan kasi it's not important. Ngayon, alam lang natin kung ano yung chord. Okay. Ngayon, yun yung chord ng parabola. Pero, 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 the chord through the focus, ito yung focus, tapos may points ka dito na nagkataon na magkatapat sila. Ngayon, change the color to, I don't know, green. Kapag dinaanan mo yung focus, ito, a chord that goes through the focus, a chord through the focus and parallel to the directrix. Ibig sabihin yung green, itong green ay parallel sa blue. Tama naman, di ba? They are indeed parallel. Di ba? It's called the latus rectum. The latus rectum or the focal cord. This is the latus, latus rectum. The latus rectum or the focal cord. Kasi yan yung dumadaan sa focus. Kaya naging focal cord. Okay? Now we have identified the parts of the parabola. The focus, the fixed point, the fixed line, the directrix, the axis of symmetry, the vertex, the latus rectum, and that's pretty much it. And last remark, we limit our discussion to parabolas whose directrices, yung mga directrix, ay either horizontal lang, itong horizontal and vertical, walang mga slants, etc. Palaging vertical or horizontal lamang. Okay? I hope that you have learned something today. I hope that you have appreciated the introduction of the parabola. In the next video, we will be, pro we will be proving the standard form. Siyempre, kung may standard form ng lines in a circle, siyempre, meron din ang parabola. And until then, mathematicians, keep safe and have a great evening to all of you. Goodbye now.